As many of you may know, if you've been keeping up with it, all over the world there's been just unprecedented, historical, just record-breaking heat. Temperatures all over the world that haven't ever experienced 100 degrees or higher are now experiencing that, and they're just going crazy. All right, turning now to what's being called a heat apocalypse in Europe. As triple-digit temperatures are being felt around the world. More than one third of the U.S. is under ex The U.S. is the latest country to swelter with high temperatures. But for us here in Texas, and I think mostly the United States, it's really not that different. Summer's always been hot. We've always broke 100 easy. I think the only different thing here is we've had more days, consecutive days, of just being at 100. I don't really keep up with it. I just know, like, well, I got to go to work no matter what. And since I got to go to work no matter what, I thought to myself, what better excuse to justify buying a new tool than the heat. So I bought myself a portable cordless or corded Makita refrigerator. This is the Makita cordless cooler and warmer box. So I could actually use this in the winter time as well. Now all these guys think they're all cool with their Yeti coolers, but those are just coolers. They're not ref portable refrigerators. They're, they don't even come close to this. Leave it to the tool companies to actually take things to the next level, Yeti. Now this was more expensive than a Yeti. I'll give you that. This was $625. When you're buying a portable refrigerator, what can you expect? You're gonna pay a price. All right, moment of truth. What do you think about my cooler? No, really though, what do you think about it? I think it costs too much. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it is very expensive. Pretty basic unboxing. Just a cooler coming out of a box. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of it. <laughs> it is small though. No, that's good for me. John's just gonna have to buy his own. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is cool. That, that'll that get me through the day. There's plenty of room in there, okay? Is it like half fridge, half freezer? No, or this... Oh, what's in here? Yeah. Oh, this is the uh, power supply. Rich room. It's so little. It looked bigger in the picture, though. Yeah, it did. Wait, how many quarts is it? What if we go camping or something, though? That'd be awesome. Then we're gonna have to get a real one. And it has a strap. to carry it. Oh, that's the other thing. If it's too big, you're not gonna be able to carry it like upstairs and all that. Why would you wanna bring your ashes upstairs? If you're working like on a building or something. You don't work on buildings. Well, I'm saying that's like their mentality when they make it. This one's dead. No, it's full. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. It won't work with these batteries. It won't work with the 40 volt, so I'm gonna have to plug it in. I knew that was gonna happen. I know I'll have to get some. No, no, no. You're gonna have to plug it in. <laughs> I can get some batteries. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. Alright, we'll hit the hit the power button on this thing. It's set for negative 10 degrees Celsius and I feel something going on in here. Like the AC just kicked on. Let's do Let's do 25 degrees. Ooh, look at the little light. So worth it for the light. Because whenever you're outside in the heat, it's always really dark. <laughs> so I'm so glad. All right, so what time is it right now? 6.50. 6.50. It's 91 degrees inside of here. So we're going to monitor this. When it reaches temperature, which I have it set, for 25 degrees. 724 and we are at 67 degrees. How long will it take to get to the 25 degree marker? We're gonna keep waiting out here and sweating with this thing to find out. If my 40 volt battery would work, you can see right here up close, it's just not compatible. Little USB port right there. So I guess you could charge something and put it in there to protect it. Got our bottle opener right here. This is a little vent, I guess, for the compressor to exhaust. And there's our little DC in port where we're plugging it in. And then it comes with the power cord, obviously, 
got that running over to the wall. So we'll turn it around here and you can see it has some heavy duty wheels right there. They look durable. It's got a handle so you can roll it around and then it's got these nice metal hinges. No plastic on here. Another vent on the back side. And that is the general overview of this thing. Hey right, guys, we are at 733 and 54 degrees. 43 minutes and we're at 53 degrees. I shouldn't do this, but I just want to reach in there real quick. Oh, it's cold in there. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice in there. I'm, I'm like leaning both ways on this thing. Part of me wants to return it, but part of me wants to just keep it. This thing can ride shotgun in the truck with me everywhere. Or we could just move to somewhere cooler. No, we're not moving. I'm Texas born and Texas bred, and when I die, I'll be Texas dead. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's hot. Put me in the ice chest. Come oh, on, let's go. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You're rude. <laughs> Can you give me some water? Can I have that water? There's nothing in here. All right. All right, guys, this is a really, I know this is a really random video, but this thing is pretty freaking cool. Even though she's trash talking it, I'm kind of playing like, like, hey, I might return it. I'm keeping it. There's no way. This thing is awesome. It is 736 and we are at 50 degrees. It feels kind of weird drinking out of a Yeti since I just trash talked it in the beginning of the video. But I gotta say, that's some ice cold water and you can tell which team she's on. Team Yeti for Ashley. Team Makita for me still. We're hanging in there. 48 degrees at 737. Wow. We're gonna get there. We are closing in on freezing temps out here in the middle of the Texas summer. Let's do this. So these, you can put them in the glass jars and they'll get really big fast. So I was thinking about giving her some, but this has too many, so they can't even like grow babies because it's, so if I take some out, the babies will get bigger. Should Ashley start a garden YouTube <laughs> channel? <laughs> if I can keep plants alive, that one's all like dead. Yeah, they're hard to keep I'll alive. I'll show you how to kill them. Especially in this heat. Yeah, that's why I moved them over here. All right, let's get a quick ice update. 7.50, one hour, one hour exactly, and we are at 35 degrees. We're almost freezing in there. So it took about one hour to get close to freezing. We're not there yet, but that's pretty good. I mean, that's ice. What, what temperature is ice when you buy it at the store? 32, 32 right? right? I mean, at least, it's gotta be. Oh, what? Oh, 32 degrees. We made it. And what time is it? It kind of bounces back and forth. 7.54. So an hour and four minutes to get to freezing. That's really not bad. That's not bad at all. And it was hot out here, so that probably didn't help. If it's in the truck with me and the AC under the roof of the truck, it'll probably go quicker. And I won't have to stop and buy ice. Do you think the batteries would make it take longer? No, I think the batteries would actually be quicker. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. I want to open this up. Come over here, put your hand in it. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got some waters coming in. Uh, we've got some other drinks here. We're going to keep this experiment going with this thing. I'm going to open it up for the first time and I'm expecting a refreshing, brisk, cold front to hit me in the face. Also, I'm gonna be putting some drinks in there. I've got this Arizona green tea, which is one of my favorite things to drink at work. I've got this espresso Starbucks thing that I've tried. I don't really drink these, but it was already in the fridge, so it's cold. This one is hot. And then we've got two water bottles. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and feel the coldness. You wanna try it? It's gonna feel good. All right, I'll let you go first. I just want to put my head in there. Right? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Oh, it feels good. Ooh, Ooh the sides are so cold. That feels so good. Wow. Oh yeah, the sides are freezing. 
That's insane. See right here how it's like you touched it and you took off the... Yeah, like the frost. Like it's making frost, exactly. Wow. This thing is amazing. <laughs> the sides are so cold. All right, let's put the drinks in. All right, the temperature's going back up. It went up two degrees. We'll close it. And then I'm gonna put those in there until this gets to 25 degrees. I wanna just see if, how fast those can cool off. If I can drink that Arizona tea, if it's cold enough. As long, I'm not saying it's gonna be frozen. I'm saying it's gonna be a cold beverage. That's it. I have so much work, yeah. Sorry. I'm so far behind. Well, we're running into a bit of an issue. It's 822 and the cooler is back up to 34 degrees. So we're back above freezing. It's probably because it's working hard to cool off those drinks. Those drinks probably raise the temperature in there, which is unfortunate. But I mean, I think most refrigerators operate at like 30, 34 degrees, like about right here. So I think we're still good. It's obviously not going to freeze it, but it's definitely not hot in there. 34 degrees, I mean, you can't complain with that. It's a refrigerator. But I'm going to keep monitoring it. Ashley bailed on me, so I'm out here alone now. And like I said, it's 8.23. I'm going to give this thing until 9. I'm going to call it a night at 9 and see where it's at. Hopefully it's at least at 32 degrees, but at 9 o'clock, I'm gonna pop the lid on that Arizona tea. So the normal operating temperature of a refrigerator is 40 degrees or below, but I have my cooler set to 25 and it's up to 36 now. What's going on? You opened it. Yeah, I know. I got eight minutes till I'm drinking that drink. Eight cold. minutes, you think so? Yeah, it's like putting it in the freezer, not the fridge. The it's freezer's... Sitting, it's sitting on ice because the bottom of that was really cold. So okay. it's like putting it on ice. You got a point. I know. The other day, I was walking out of Lowe's. Remember that? Oh, no, I was walking into Lowe's. As I was walking in, there was a kid walking out with two DeWalt boxes in his hands, like big impact sets and drill sets. And I was like, those have the security devices on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in my mind, I put it together real quick and I was like, he's walking out with those. He's going to steal them. What a piece of crap. What a, oh man, I wish I would have like thought faster. He was a big guy. Yeah, he was He big. probably would have just like knocked you with it on your head or something. But I had my gun on me, so. What? what? You can't just shoot somebody. If he whacks me on the head, I would have shot him. <laughs> Defense. Whacks you on the head. So. Yeah, my life was in danger. Those things are heavy. Brain damage. Yeah, he probably would have whacked you and ran. I probably would have. Like I probably should have just said, you're just a piece of crap. I should have just told him. You're like, keep going, but you're a piece of crap. Just to so say, you know. Dang, I would've got him. I didn't him. even catch it. He was like a foot away from me and I just was like, doo -doo -doo, look at that patio furniture, you know? And then I like looked at him because he passed me and looked back down. And then I remember you were just like, like I think you literally I pointed had your to him. mouth open. And you're I was like, like, he's walking out with him. So I was at, like, what? when you steal from those places, they can't do anything. It's so pathetic. They can't even like, all they can do is say, hey, please, please stop. They said they stop. got his license plate. No, he's not stopping. He's, he's still going. <laughs> That's what they do. But he, this guy was so proud. Like, he had this super smug look on his mm -hmm. face, just like. Head up. Yeah, he was a big guy. I'm Chest still, out. I'm yeah, still in did. this right now. He did. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's like. All right, you're gonna get yours. Trust me, dude, you're gonna get it. The world the world doesn't operate like that. But what were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know how I even, so returning stuff, yeah. All right, guys, it is nine o'clock on the dot. As you can see, the cooler is at 34 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. So in between the time that I last spoke to the camera really talking about the temperature, it's fluctuated. It's gone up to 35, 36, it even got up to 37, then it dropped back down to currently at 34 degrees. So I'm gonna open up that drink. Here we go. The Arizona green tea. <laughs> and let's see, it feels decent. Like it just came out of the fridge. 
You want to fill it real quick? No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping it. It's nice.